can't have too much too much ram going yeah we we literally you, you ne- never see like a five and O team in our league and i, I feel i feel like this is always the week that someone gets screwed over it, my team told my team totally died but you know <laughs> It's okay. it, was, it was fine. I was I was due for a uh, for a loss. So Andy and I thought it'd be nice to kind of recap the first four weeks and uh, you know kind of see where everybody's at, make some fun of some people, and you know see where it goes. So uh, you know we've okay. we've had we've had a lot of action so far. We even need to we even need to like go over the draft. I mean we we have literally have talked about nothing in the last four <laughs> years. So we gotta we gotta start somewhere. Uh, but have you had a trade yet? Yeah, no trades yet either. How are we? How are we? Zero trades. I yeah. sent out two trade offers to, I can't remember and I can't remember. I tried to get Christian Kirk and I tried to get Devontae Adams and I got zero responses in three days. That's, <laughs> I mean, either reject it immediately and or, or counter for something that you think is unreasonable. But I didn't think the Kirk trade was that like outlandish so eh, whatever i mean me and devin talks and trade and i feel an arm and of arm for me trades which i reject immediately because they both <laughs> but hey you know that's that's uh well whatever. the the only the only thing i do have to add before we kind of kick into this is i am uh so nima our commissioner our fearless leader is obviously looking very dapper tonight um i'm i'm repping for nima as well um <laughs> so we we can we can chat like this if you like but Make sure that you're always repping some league where. Um, yeah. So, so why don't you kick it off, Nima? So let's let's talk. We, we can we don't need to talk so much about the shenanigans, but draft. Yeah. We can kind of summarize what we thought there. We can kind of look at the big board a little bit, and uh, I think we can even pull up the the draft results. But let's um let's share this up right now and let's see let's see what we can get here. So, what were your thoughts on draft day? Well, I think the biggest surprise, as you have to say, is two running backs going in the first two picks. Um, I mean, Jordan has been in this league before, continues to make some interesting decisions in the draft, and went with JTT, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, um, as the first pick, uh, followed by David taking Christian McCaffrey, which you could, you know, account to maybe some newness in the league. But both of those picks let Devin uh, snag Josh Allen, which absolutely is the only reason Devin has any wins right now because the rest of his team is trash. I guarantee you in no mock draft where he did three in a two QB league did was Josh Allen still there. And when he, he just shot out, I remember he just shot up from the, the, the seat we, me, me, you and Pasha just all looked at each other. Like what the fuck just happened? <laughs> like, like this, this is doomsday. Cause he's going to He's going to come back on at two and in the, in the second and third round and pull and pull something out. Fortunately, he took argu- arguably the worst pick in the second round for him, which was Kamara just hasn't panned out, but Nothing. you're, you're absolutely right at, at, Three one one point three Josh Allen. Are you kidding me? This guy is fantasy gold here. Yeah. So that's. I mean, otherwise, I mean, Devin's looking at Kamara and you know, Eliza. He lost Eliza Mitchell. He lost. He lost Godwin. Winston Jameis sucks. So Kadarius <laughs> Tony. I mean, yes, he, he pitched Sky more. Apparently, he dropped T.J. Hawkinson by like fifty points last week. Good call on that one. <laughs> and he's and the rapist is waiting on the rapist uh Devin is waiting on uh Deshaun Watson to save his team so there, you know there you go I mean yeah Devin for for having that pick you feel like somehow he should have been dominating more um yeah. you know Mixon the he's turning into the new Sean Green just 25 carries for 62 yards every <laughs> every single week Sean high, Green classic. high volume low re- low reward um but then you know i mean mike evans was crushing it um that's that's solid value in the fourth but yeah i i think that he's he's still got a lot of work to do it feels like kind of a like a like a posturing three and one team i don't know quite yet but devin's they, always they, a trade candidate so he'll throw him and pasha are going to discuss something at some point and De- you know it's going to happen devin always weasels in with those those trades that like just barely pique your interest and then all of a sudden you you feel like you're getting the best of him then he counters back and then you feel like you got bamboozled like wait why did i just give up that guy that i had no intention of trading what just happened here he always speaking finds a way of, to do that speaking of smelly white guys uh jordan uh had our first pick i remember before i said before he keeps starting stafford which is i don't know i mean how many more weeks you can get that going he has trevor lawrence on his bench but he keeps starting Stafford. 
he and he dropped DK Metcalf uh, week two, I believe. At- I, I put I put in my notes here worst waiver wire drop was it James Robinson or DK Metcalf and it's hard to it's hard to justify dropping someone like DK but you know Jordan's an unconventional guy he you're right he might he, he's probably better off starting his brother at quarterback at this point over Matt Stafford <laughs> and um, I I think that there's really he's he's kind of he's kind of where he belongs right now. I mean, there's <laughs> Pasha, Pasha beat him Monday night and it was Stafford versus basically Tyler Higby and Pasha won for his first one of the season. With Somehow Tyler Higby goes Stafford. like eight for a hundred and Stafford has a hundred passing yards and they're all the Higby. <laughs> and that's what happened. As we discussed, I'm like, Pasha, you have a shot in the dark, but basically he has to go all the Higby, nobody else and fall apart. Otherwise it actually happened. So I, w- I will, you know, he, he did, he did set the tone though. I'm pretty sure, you know, he won the draft day games, literally came out of nowhere to steal the show. Um, he then proceeded to drink, I think 32 beers before the party started with the tacos and then <laughs> made more people feel uncomfortable in a, in a 45 minute stretch than I've made feel uncomfortable since I left college. And, um, you know, he just, he goes for it, man. He's, he, he has, I made him, I made him the bet. Remember when he took back to back quarter? Quarterbacks. I'm like, mm-hmm. if you if you if you take a fourth quarterback right now, I'll I'll Venmo you thirty dollars right now, and he, <laughs> and and then he gets down to time, and then finally just throws out like a tight end. Who was it? <laughs> I'll, I'll find it. It was on the draft somewhere. Yeah. Let's see. So it went Stafford, Rogers, and then yeah, he picks Metcalf right there. <laughs> Speaking of uh, teams with quarterback situations, uh, Pasha, it, uh, we mentioned a little bit earlier is uh, scrambling because right now he's always starting one quarterback. He's actually starting a running back in the quarterback superflex position. So you know that's a problem. Uh, hurts. His quarterback's head fell off. Uh, he's getting pretty old. Um, <laughs> don't know when he's going to come back. The As, poor, the poor guy, the fingers. That was People were merciless about that. Just, he went oh, full off. No. He went full off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Poor brain. So, he's got Josh, Josh soft brain right now. Another big time trade candidate for Mr. Moshir. He's gonna throw some shit out there eventually. Snuck out his first win. His 0-4 is basically a death sentence, but he he, he pulled out the one and three, so he's he's right in the mix right there. So, you know, you, you got to give it to him. He had to shake it up. He went back to a, an oldie but a goodie with Ron Mexico, and I think that shook up the luck for him. I, um, I mentioned to him the name <laughs> changes what he had to do, and he went for it. That was the way to do it. Yeah, he I know he was super high on Pittman the entire like all our mocks, everything. He got him where he wanted him, and of course he got hurt. Higgins finally showed up for him, but it was that an ugly Dalvin win. Cook pick is just not gonna. Oh, that, is, this is that. painful right here. He's he's getting the volume. He's pulling to Joe Mixon right now. Um, but real quick, I mean, just just side sidebar. How about this guy? Yeah, that's a good pick. Good oh pick. boy, that is tasty right now. And if, good pick. if only he could have rounded it out a little bit better uh, instead of going QB 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 tight end tight end, but. Um, <laughs> You know, you never know with Jordan, like I said. But Barkley looks great. It's nice to it's nice to have the the superstars like back and performing. Um, there you go. That we kind of grew up with. So who's next? Um, hey Jordan. I mean, let's go to our our uh, first place right now. Did Mister Wong tooted and booted? Um, looking at his team, it absolutely makes no sense that he's in first place because it just doesn't look that great. He's starting golf. Uh, He's got a. Let me pull his team up right now. Swift's Swift's been hurt. Swift's He's, been hurt. He picked. See. He was the fifth. He was the fifth pick in the league. So at the I mean, we'll say that's the worst position. But I mean, he's had some solid picks. He took Connor in the fourth. He took Lance in the fifth. So I, I, I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It must be a matchup thing. But he's killing it. Most scored. Most scored points and in first place. And and he's been the most scored against. Yeah. Which means like he's just he's just killing it, and you know he he came off his own personal DL and and just dominated, and he's he's back and stronger than ever. He's pulling his own Saquon Barkley story right now. It's that and, Amon Rob pick that was a good uh, pick right there. Man, that's a that's, good one. That's just real solid. Yeah, Goff. I think isn't Goff the QB one right now in like fantasy not. point fantasy points? Well, Let's he's been to- starting Geno too, and that takes us to our uh, ties it to our next team, David, who took Russell Wilson in the third round. And it doesn't look like it's Russell Wilson anymore, unfortunately. Oh, uh, boy. And it's yeah, just not guy. looking out good for, 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 the, for the beat over there. So I got a couple wins, but he's definitely in the neater quarterback club because he's starting Jimmy Garoppolo. And mm-hmm. another big trade candidate that he needs to kind of make a move right there. 
but he's a first year guy. So he's, he's hanging in there. He's, do, he's doing all he can. Uh, what's, what's that team name again? Is that gridiron? It's gridiron and throwing right yeah. there too. And two. Yeah. He just kind of, I, I think I had a matchup against him maybe, but yeah, unfortunately Wilson, I took him in another league. He's just, you're right. Shell of himself right now. It feels like maybe Seattle knew something and that's why they let him go. Um, Kyle Pitts has just this may be the worst receiving corner in, in our league, by the way. Oh, I mean, yes. I mean, this, this, <laughs> this is, this is a thorough nominee. No, there, there is, isn't there, there's one worse one. I think you made a note of it and we'll, is there we'll a worse one? I think, uh, Phil and Armin. Um, Phil and let, is pretty bad too. We'll get to that one, but oh yeah, you, it is. Yeah, you, you have, you, you have McCaffrey at two and, and you don't solidify your quarterbacks in this league. It's just gonna, it's going to come back to bite you every single time. And Allen's been hurt. I mean, it seems like Miles high Sanders, upside, though, but... a good pick right there. Miles Sanders, he took him, he took him late. He took him in the 10th. Got Miles Sanders. That's a good pick. That's that's tremendous, tremendous value. I mean, he was kind of he, he was almost a drop candidate after week two, but exploded um all over everyone's faces last week. So <laughs> that was a that was a nice take. Um let's where, which one's Phil and Armin's team? Let's go to them. I, I, we want to see place. that's pound our, that's for our pound. 10th place team. Um pound other, for other pound, the worst receiving core in the league. Prepare your buttholes for this oh my god <laughs> so i mean it's tough out there uh he's also i mean he has mahomes and kelsey and not much else Najee harris second round was a bad pick um the offense is anemic i just picked up uh kenny pickens though let's see if that guy could do some shit kenny pickens or yeah. garrett garrett pickens or kenny pickett who, oh, who's no, the receiver oh, yeah. george pickens it's here yeah the pickens yeah it's yeah i'm gonna i want a george pickens george pickens the, and kenny pickett it's more more like slim pickens either, either way you get it it's it's pee-pee. it's it's a lot of pp it's a lot of um pee-pee. but yeah as as you mentioned that going down that going down hurts it seems like one of those things where they're going to kind of string it out and he'll probably be back in like three weeks i, I don't know if he's ready to play um and yeah this this rush would, this is unfortunate this poor guy i mean baker has just been a boop, boop, yeah a, I, a real pp like <laughs> melvin gore might get the pickup because i just lost javante williams so but they picked up latavius murray though so who knows i don't know who's gonna pick that guy i was I gonna mean, pick up that mike boone guy there's Boone. But, yeah, there, there's a lot of a lot of three, different ways it could go. Backs is a disaster. You can't touch that. So let's 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 flip to your team. So yeah, there you go. I was took, took, that's a good it's a good segue. Took the first loss, lost Javante. Javante was kind of PPR working it for you. Now you got now you look like you're primed for uh for some free auction bids, right? Free agent yeah, auction I'm bids. Yeah, right I made some I made some bids. <laughs> <laughs> You cleared out the dead weight. I, I take the trash out. Yeah, I've made some bids. Um, we're trying this to is, to this is nice. My receiver core, nice. I think, is the best in the league. Uh, it's between me, you, and Jose, but it's. I think I would be biased right here. I think it's it's kind of top notch, personally. Y- yeah, if I, I mean, you got to like how Rush still keeps looking at CD. He's still carrying yeah. his value. Chase is going to come along. He's going to get his looks. You know, he's finding yeah. finding ways through the double teams. But Waddle, man, whoo. Well, that, nice. that guy he's it's this is just scary like you you don't want to see this anytime you're matched up against another team and Hertz is just he's been slinging it hasn't he? he's just been he's been slinging it he's been playing well yeah i mean uh, last week this last isn't week was over, yeah. even this um, isn't like a killer um well, we've had some he, shit-tastic weeks but whew, my whole that, team died that's week. nice <laughs> My James Robinson pick was better before when I had Javante too, but now I need to make more out of him. But it's been a nice little pickup. Uh, yeah. Again, this last week, disaster for my entire team. But my, yeah. my Jaguars, baby, yeah. cautious optimism. They're, they've been in every game. They're two and two. They just, there's a, there's a vibe over there right now. Let's go to you. All right. Let's go to the real best team in the league. Uh, Dr. Van Nostrand from the clinic. So Dr. he. Dr. Van Nostrand needs a quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. It's. <laughs> Oh God! Don't you see that? Needs a, needs a quarterback club <laughs> with uh, David, Jose, and Pasha. If you ask me. So obviously Lamar is a, a nice carry, but yeah, I mean, I got Wilson and Tannehill. I mean, it's like I have I have the top spot, like the top spots in each position locked yeah. up, but then yeah. it's like, uh, and it's just and kills in disappointment too. Dude, you want disappointment? This is 
that's, this is the that's worst. Who, that's yeah, that's that's the worst. For the worst. for someone who in like standard leagues was going in the second to third round, yeah. um, in this league, I think I got him in the fifth, and I felt like I got away with steal, like a steal, yeah, I mean, like stealing something right there. Still. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, still it's the same yeah. thing because I picked a 10, you know, it might as well have been, but oh, oh, you're, right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That is disturbing. Oh well, yeah, that's a tough one. I think you're a trade candidate. I think I, you're a trade candidate. I think I think I need to make a move. I just don't quite know what it is. I, I I'd love sure. to shore up my wide receiver three, but we'll figure it out from there. Who um, do we got left? We got Amir and Jose left. Uh, let's go. Let's go to Amir. All right. So is that right here? <laughs> yeah. Dare I lick my balls. I can dare I lick my own balls. Thank you very much. Is that Charlie? George, no, George. Is, George has a cough. Oh, George. Uh, I hate all of uh, his quarterbacks. They all upset me. <laughs> I, personally um i just cousins is horrendous uh matt ryan i'm better than matt ryan right now i'll get up and throw a court ball better than matt ryan right now no doubt in my mind you could go out there with with the colts line and you could probably go 19 for 30 for like 250 against uh, against denver and matt ryan is gonna go 11 for 45 <laughs> with three interceptions one loss fumble and he's going to ruin another receiver's career by leading them into the, into traffic again. You and know, <laughs> I just, I just don't, I've been a Matt Ryan hater for years. So I just, I always stay away from Matt Ryan. That's why I'm, I didn't pick a Colt this year. Cause I don't want to touch Matt Ryan. So it's for, just... for as bad as my like QB two spot is at least their combined age is on, is under 73. And <laughs> this, I can't say the same right here. This is, yeah, it's tough. His running backs sound terrifying, but I think they were more terrifying like three years ago. Oh yeah, if you if you would have seen this, that yeah. that would have won you the league right there. This right yeah. here is probably one of, probably one of my picks of the draft though. Um, yeah, in you terms of it. terms of value, in terms of what he's done and what he probably will continue to do. Um, kind of a disappointment here. It doesn't really matter where he got him, but yeah. You're right. If you if you he's saw this coming, he's average everywhere though. He's average everywhere. He doesn't. I don't. I mean, to me, he he's he's solid. But he if I if he looks like a two for one candidate. To try to get try to get some more talent from somebody. Yeah, and the, and the thing you need is you really need two people who on any given week can kind of win you the week. And yeah. you you have one, but then everyone else is kind of a question mark. And unfortunately, like Murray just isn't. I, I don't know if he's confused. Guy. I don't know if Kingsbury is just. Not a very good coach. Maybe he needs Hopkins, but I mean they're they're still waiting on that. So yeah, I mean when when Hopkins come comes back, it's going to be a nice one two punch. It's kind of like having Mahomes and Kelsey on. You know they they keep you in any week, but yeah, you're right. Maybe two years ago, that, that's probably Phil the, and Armin you feel a lot better. Have, are, Phil and are Phil and Armin waiting on Hopkins? I think they are. I don't know if they can. Yeah, yeah they are. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. They're it's trying to trying to bolster that receiving core. Well, uh, then, let's go to Mr. Uh, Jose. Uh, we'll, we'll save the, the worst on. the worst for last. And Josh. Worst person. Yeah. Um, so another guy that needs a quarterback because he's starting Carson Wentz and he has Cooper Rush. So yeah. lots of new guys need quarterbacks in this league. Um, otherwise, honestly, his team's pretty solid. The Jamal Williams pick was great. Um, he, uh, he took Lazard in the eighth, which is a great pick. In the tenth, I'm sorry. And didn't make any really bad picks in the draft. And his team is pretty solid. I I drafted Jamal Williams and dropped him. So you know, yeah. You, know, <laughs> you you always you always have that early season drop. Last year for me, it was Jamar Chase that I dropped preseason game three. That wow. one hurt. But this this isn't bad either. I mean, you see those guys, and based he's off good. the matchup no, with solid. Williams, that's you're good. like, that's why I said yeah. he's in the he's in the conversation with me and him for the best receivers. Yeah, so and he's in there for sure. And if if Eckler if Eckler performs a half of what he just did, um, you know that that would be, I mean, th- this team is a scary team, and Andrews is the tight end one now. Like, yep. I mean, yep. he's been he's been killing it. I know he had a shitty week, but everyone had a shitty week this last week. It was there was no scoring. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll go. I'm, I'm his team. I have not too many bad things to say about it. Otherwise, he needs he knows he needs a quarterback, and that will kind of change his team. But he needs that. It's true. Completely agree. So. That's that's kind of a rundown of the teams. Let's look at um, let's look at this week's uh, matchups right now and um, get a feel for where everyone's everyone's kind of sitting. So we'll move to week five. Okay, so we'll start with here because you and I are last. So we'll save the best for last. Um, We got Josh versus the toot. 
toot and boot. Um, this to me is going to come down to kind of what we just talked about. Like, is this, is this momentum going to carry and what is going to happen here? Like, Ugh, it, I would it, hate to start once every week. That's disgusting. Brady's getting a divorce now. So you know how it's going to, how it's going to affect him. I get really pissed off. Who's, really he, who, who's he divorcing? <laughs> um, sure, sure. He's, divorce, yeah. he's divorcing Antonio Brown. He should have. He should have. That guy's flashing his dick out in Europe. It's crazy. So, uh, so let's let's not let's not let's try to not look at projections here. Let's uh, just try to look at the matchups. Who do you think's winning here? I want to say Jose is going to take it because I, I think his team. I think you know. Brady versus Atlanta, I think Brady's going to kick their ass. Um, and then I just don't – I don't trust Herbert right now. And then at Cleveland, I don't like, I don't like West, West Coast teams going east, and Cleveland's mm-hmm. a decent team. So I'm going to say Jose has this one personally. Goff's playing the Patriots. Uh, Patriots defense hasn't been bad. They kind of rocked Rodgers last week a little bit. Sure. Um, and if I'm on – well, I'm on Ross St. Brown's a big one because if he plays, he makes a big difference for uh, Tudor to boot it. Gotta say Agreed. you you gotta feel like like this team has like the the bde the big dick mm-hmm. energy from last yeah. week but yeah you're right you see golf at new england like that's that, that's always a tough matchup you got all these these kind of like this yeah i just hate that matchup feels like this is just you're right the stronger team and this is kind of the you know what did you do for me last week like you probably would have taken it but yeah. um this is this is probably the saving grace. If if Tampa Bay's D shows up, I mean, you can have a defense go off for sixty points and yeah. and keep you in any week. But I might got, change this that is, going this is, next year. How do you feel about the defense? The defensive scoring is it too much? You know, when when you could take a defense where you're taking like a wide receiver three, maybe it's time to kind of revisit because it's strong. But then it also prioritizes being savvy um, and intentional with your defensive pickups. So. I think it's nice because we did eliminate, you know, many years ago, the defensive players and, um, and you know, kind of, yeah, well, no, there should be no kicker in any league. It's just, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I will fight that to the death. I'll, I'll, I'll take this to after hours if I need to. Um, but I kind of like the high scoring. I like that it, it gives you a good base and then it, it starts to, I think it just needs to hurt you a little bit more if, yeah. if like, you get a 30, if, if a team gives up 35 points, they still shouldn't get 30 somehow, you know? So I don't know how that would be tweaked, but I think you just need to be penalized a little bit more when you give up a ton of points, give up a ton of yards. Fair, fair, fair. Um, but yeah, th- this is, uh, this has nightmare written all over it. Uh, Buffalo at home against Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think it's a wrap. I think Kenny Jose's Pickett, got this. Andy, Kenny Pickett. George Pickett. No, it's Kenny Pickett, <laughs> George Pickens. Is it? I think so. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next matchup. So next one, we've oh no, that's oh no, that's week four. Damn you. Damn you, Roger. Oh no, of course. Now I get him. Eh, no, we'll just, we'll just do this one. Okay. So we've got Amir versus, versus Haiti. So uh I feel pretty good about this. Um, I feel good about it. I, I like the, quarter, the quarterbacks is the biggest matchups, if you ask me, always every week. Kind of look at the teams. Mm-hmm. Miller, Murray's playing Philly. Philly's tough. Cousins is playing Chicago. Chicago plays good defense. You're starting Zach Wilson, though. So, tough. For now. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go back and forth between which one. Between him and Tannehill, who's banging, who's mom. I'm going to pick that quarterback to uh, to go Tannehill. with. <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm gonna i'm gonna go with that quarterback that week um whoever whoever's tiktok gets more views but yeah. um but yeah I, I don't know i feel pretty confident it's just nice trotting out these two guys every week with and arguably the the running back one i mean i know on paper like henry versus chubb should be kind of a, an even match it's just i like lining up i know that bosa's like banged up i know that um Chargers defense has been giving up a ton of points and Washington's been oddly stingy. So this is one of those weird games where I bet you Tennessee's favored, but all of a sudden it's going to be the fourth quarter and it's going to be like 17, 14 Washington. And you'd be like, what the hell is going on? I'm so, so happy I'm not gambling. Cause there's a lot of been a weird, a lot of weird oh, endings yeah. in the last few weeks. And I don't like gambling on those games. So thank God. I, I could not agree more. I've pulled, pulled all, all funds off. I just can't, can't do it. Yeah. Especially when I, I would have, but I didn't have any money. 
um i do i do love this matchup i love green bay i i swooped them up a couple weeks ago because i i saw this then this then this then this and it's like all right you know that's kind of set and forget it i am pissed that i dropped san francisco to do it um but hot damn i got you do do you do what you got to do i think um i think it's going to take something pretty heroic over here to win this one i think i got this one in the bag i agree all right what let's see do we let's just let's just go uh bottom, yeah yeah how do you go to the bottom i think it's, uh no oh there we go let's see do I get... oh here we go is it going to change every week all right we'll do yours now because we got it okay all right business ethics business ethics. so we don't know you you love your you love being shrouded in mystery so yeah. Let's see. We've got we've got a small edge. We've got uh, we got the worst receivers going against the best receivers. Brees Hall against Miami. Who knows? We got Melvin Gordon in, in potentially an enhanced role. But I, Latavius Murray is decent. Like he's the, if they're basically the same player. I, 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 that's that's a frustrating situation. Plus, the, I I don't like they haven't scored twenty points yet. Only as a team. So f them. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Um, your man Monday night for you guys is going to be fireworks because you're gonna you're gonna Monday. have Carr going and he's got Mahomes and Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be fun. Carr sucks. If, when when Kelsey has five for sixty in the first quarter and Mahomes has like two touchdown passes or a passing touchdown or a rushing touchdown, you're gonna be like, what's happening? I hate, right now? I hate playing that game. But okay, <laughs> let's see. I got Carr is definitely a trade candidate. Whoever wants it, all these team wants a quarterback. Uh, I'll, I'll talk car. So. There you go. You heard it here first. So yeah. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be <laughs> hot take. Woj bomb. <laughs> I, I think this is, this is going to be a tight one. Uh, you probably don't like seeing this it's battle. I mean, this is frightening as well. Yeah. It's, I think it's going to be toe to toe. I think that depending on, I don't even think you'd need to know who you start here. I think it's going to come down to your receivers and I think you're going to take it. Um, Hertz and Mahomes, to my knowledge have been pretty comparable outside of last week. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, he had that, that five touchdown first week, which probably won him the week, but I don't know. This just feels like the more top to bottom good team and provided everyone stays healthy. I just, I also don't trust Mar- uh, Melvin Gordon. Like, I, I don't know. No, not a believer. Nah, never been. He, he, he stumbled four times, I think, this season. So not a good, not a good element. Like three times in the last game. Yeah. All right. That one goes to Nima. All right. Ooh, this, this is kind of a sneaky, important matchup for Pasha right here. Um, I wouldn't call it a must win, but you know, you feel a lot Russ better if you did. Russ is questionable, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was limited at practice. He came out and said, I'm absolutely playing. So right now Look at that Posh is starting a fucking running back though in the in the quarterback flex, super flex spot. This hurts. And Etienne has been an, an absolute disappointment. You got to make a move for a quarterback. He's probably just keeping his cards to the chest until the free agent bid's going. By the way. How do you like the free agent bidding versus um, versus the rolling continuous? I kind of like it actually because it takes the pressure off. I would have made a lot more drops and pickups. I think it kind of keeps your team a little bit more like straightforward. Um, mm-hmm. So far, so good. I actually, I actually like having it be a little bit more structured that way. Curious to hear the league's thoughts on that too, because I I can tell you that there is a certain rush on Sundays when mm-hmm. you get a notification about you know who maybe you have to pick up but i also know that i've dropped some like real talent to pick up some backup and then the starter isn't hurt and you kind of screw yourself so i i think it makes sundays and mondays more enjoyable for me so overall i'm a fan of the uh, of the fab because i think it does even the playing field and you can kind of do what you got to do to um you know get the players you want so i prefer it it's really interesting when people start running out of money in like two three weeks it's true. It's true. Yeah. And I, I saw one person, I think it's, um, it's Dara Lick has, um, has all his money left. So he's probably saving for that, you know, mid, you Dude know, boot. It's been $34 on Metcalf. So he bet, we should really hope he would see it worth it, but it's, it's a big spend. I mean, you have to be willing to make the sacrifice when you're getting down to the last weeks and all of a sudden you're going against people with 60 bucks, you've got 10 and you're just like, Oh shit, what do I do? <laughs> um, I, I, tough, tough to call. It doesn't have a defense in here yet. Um, he's still got Patterson in the lineup, uh, so you're fucking, to tell. Too so you're to fucking tell. line up. Um, let's see. Jacob's coming on strong. You know, this team, this team could compete. It's just you feel like, oh man, they're he needs Russell to be like 
and then all of Russell to compete with that team. Yeah, and he needs Cook to really come through too. You know what? I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say he picks up a solid defense. Defense kind of does it for him. I'm gonna take uh, the underdog here. Um, I'm I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take David's team. All right. Raw Mexico, one, one and four is going to be a tough place to be after that. Michael Pittman sucks. That Worst Dylan pick was pick. real rough. Ooh. Quadzilla, not uh, not coming through. Yeah. All right. I think we got two more matchups. Let's see. I think one. We did. One? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. JVD. Two more. Yeah, we have Trace Comas, I think, too. All right. Oh, this is... he can't keep starting Stafford. He's got Dallas, though. You never know. You never Ugh. know. Ugh. Um, gotta gotta hate this short week, ankle sprain. Ugh. That's 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 bad news written all over it. That's a um, I I don't have to look too much into this. I think that uh, Devin runs away with this one pretty easily. I bet you. I bet you that Jonathan Taylor does not play. Um, this obviously is very nice, but. You got Watch Duvernay. Saquon and Devontae Adams have huge games, though. It's true. Yeah, Ad, I mean, Adams still massive target share, still getting every single look in, in Vegas. And Derek Carr, I need that. Need, need that D-Carr, baby. <laughs> but this, this like, dude fumbled a punt last week. Like, yeah, and that, that was, like, his – that was his shining light. Yeah, great week right here. Um, you know, that's a, it's a quality start on a team that has no receivers. Um. Yeah, I'm going to give that one to Devin. Piece of cake, even though Winston's a pile too. All right, final Not matchup. Hard. We got Jose. Yeah, I think it was a Jose matchup we haven't done yet. I thought we did that first, didn't we? Did we do it first? We done it first. Yeah, we got, yeah, we talked about Brady oh, yeah, Herbert. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Those are your, those are your picks to click. Uh, you heard it. You heard it here. We're going to, we're going to sell this information for $99 a package on, um, whatever that website is for betting action network. You can find, uh, you can find both Nima and, uh, and Andy's picks. Um, so final, final thoughts, Nima through four weeks, how do you feel about your playoff chances and any, <sighs> any other, any other final thoughts on either biggest surprises or ultimate frustrations about owning a player? I think, I think, um, I think it's a wide open league still like we usually are. I think there's a couple of teams that need to make some trades to be more to be more seriously involved in it but four teams need quarterbacks to, to like to, to kind of make a move so who's gonna make it there's not that many quarterbacks out there who's gonna make a move to kind of jump up but um i like i like my squad so far so let's see what happens yeah you know no one i, I feel like in previous years one team had that one two quarterback punch where you're just like fuck like yeah. every single time you're like, that's a hundred points right there. Yeah. And, and then you can kind of fill in the blanks from there. And it, it, you're right. It feels like there, there's more parity this year than ever. Maybe it just means we're getting worse at, on draft day. Maybe it means we just stink at it. Um, but I, I do think that it, it invariably happens. One of these one in three teams is going to be up here in, in the top three or top four. And um, the, you, one of the what and vice versa. Like one of these yeah. teams is going to go through a midseason slump. They're going to be scrambling. They're going to make an aggressive trade that they're probably feels like they're giving up too much. Um, but yeah, I think the only the only thing is really nice to see Saquon healthy and back at it. And I cannot tell you how stupid I feel for drafting cam makers. <laughs> I, yeah. I feel I felt like I feel like Christian Cirillo, like looking back on it. That's how bad that pick feels. That's a regular season champ. Don't say that. You don't say that. <laughs> the champ is here. He's the Denver Nuggets of uh, of of fantasy. We miss you, Christian. Don't come back to the league, though. Fair. <laughs> All right, buddy. Love you. Everybody else, uh, we'll do one of these again. You know, later on the season when we get closer to the end, and we'll kind of see where we're at. But uh, maybe we'll have a special guest. Who knows? But uh, absolutely. Yeah, but, let's uh, um maybe we'll maybe we'll look to do this as like a every four weeks kind of thing. There's some there's some nice uh simpatico right there because there's there you, you know right around 17 weeks. Yeah. And uh and yeah, if anyone has any other thoughts or uh any other thoughts on the team, go fuck yourselves because Nima and I are always right and we're we're in the top two places. So bye bye. See you later. Well, <laughs> well, well, well we're close. Long is number one. We're two and three, but we'll take it. Close it's enough. All, it's points, it's points, it's points. <laughs> points count. Later, everybody. Good Adios, Kamish. Later.